Hi guys, welcome to Rootstam Gaming. Sorry for the brush. This video we're going to be looking at the amazing Amball. I'm going to be showing you how to paint him, how to base him, and how to do everything, really. And I'll move that. I should really get this set up and prepared while I'm doing this. Right, as you can see, the Amball is already started on by the time you come into this video. Yay! What I'm, uh, how I've based it is a little bit of your standard basing material just around some of the pieces that you get in the Amble set. I've also put a little bit of the Martian Iron Earth on there. I believe it's Martian Iron Earth. And then the, um, that, that is just a little bit of PVA with a tiny, tiny bit of sand. Just to make sure, if I can get the light right. Just to make sure that that little tiny hole in the middle has been covered up. Majority of the base is going to stay flat. As you can see a bit more Martian Iron Earth there. That's because we're going to be doing that as some form of flat-like metallic -y marble by the time we've done with it. The model has then been sprayed black. Along as well as the two little baby-like things that seem to accompany it. We are going to be hitting this at some point with some Green Stuff World Colour Shift paint. Mainly... The green emerald emerald getaway so for that you need to have shiny shiny black now i don't have a lot of black different black undercoats i just have the ones i can get hold of quite easy which of course is games workshop citadel chaos black so what i've done because this really needs to go on a gloss finish i actually use hard coat and then i put hard coat all over the figure this so let's grab an old brush, oldish, because <laughs> I'm going to be making a bit of a mess and I'm going to coat the entire carapace in hard coat. So as you can see, it's all glossy, and now we're ready to hit it with the emerald getaway. This is going to create a nice bug green effect across the top of a carapace. So now we've got our lovely Amble, and he's nice and shiny, shiny green. So, I wanted to paint the flesh separately. Now, a lot of this is going to have to be brushwork, because of course I don't want to ruin the carapace that we've done. Make sure that you've got some thin brushes on hand. We're going to start by basically putting in Sotek Green. We may add a wash to that. I'm thinking Gollum and Glaze. Yeah, that'll do. And then we'll use that, blend up to Temple Guard Blue, but in the, on the soft underbelly, I'm going to airbrush that in. So little bits we will airbrush, like the larger surface areas, uh, I think there's some flesh down here, that's going to be airbrushed. So wet blend it, I'll something wet blend out in a moment, on your smaller areas, 
which you can't really airbrush and then airbrush it on the large areas which you know you're not going to be able to mess up i mean you might be able to guard off anyway um but like i say use that I'm trying to find my glum and glaze use that hit it with some glum and glaze we're gonna then temple glab blew it and then we may even put maybe an edge highlight in there as well as you can see i've hand painted in the sotec I'm going to hit it with Gullum and Glaze, but I am going to add a little bit of Lamia Medium to it. Or, Floor Improver, that's pretty much the same stuff. Um, to thin it down a little bit. So, so that it runs into the recesses better. So after the glaze has dried, I've hit the model uh, painting this section and then hitting these larger sections with the airbrush. I've hit it again with the Sotec Green and then I hit it with the Temple Guard Blue. And for the belly, sort of because of course a lot of the figures tend to have that a little bit lighter, I've hit it with Temple Guard Blue mixed in with Model Air White. And that's given me a, a nice little sheen. I've, uh, I've then hit it with Mecha Varnish, thinned. Um, this is mainly so that it will protect the model because, of course, all the layers are going to be quite thin. And we're just going to quickly run a dry brush of Temple Guard Blue over the entire figure. And then on here, I'm going to... Well, I'm not going to do it on the belly. On the belly, I'm just going to hit it with a tiny bit of white with a tiny bit of Temple Guard Blue in. Because, of course, when you airbrush... Once it goes on, it's never as it's always a little bit see through. So, I think you, if you watch my dry brushing video, hopefully, I might be able to get a link up there. Um, that will then be able to show you why I've done this. Because, of course, if you dry brush the same color back on top of something you airbrushed, it tends to actually come up because the airbrush tends to be thinner and it tends to be a little bit darker. dry brush has been done makes it look quite nice and then next step we're going to paint the mandibles and the claws we're going to do this in a very unique way so how we're going to do that is scrag brown then overlay it leaving a little bit i'll show you how to do it when we're painting of rat skin flesh then kislev flesh then your shabty bone and once that's completed and dried cover it all in serif and sepia Okay, so the claws and mandibles are painted, and of course the toes, painted in the scrag brown. I'm now going to hit them with the rat skin flesh. It's going to be in a downward motion, leaving the recess. So hopefully we're going to cause some lines. Don't forget, wet palette nearly dropped my brush. Same, but with the kids left flesh. And finally, you shabty bone. As you can see from the detail, I've already got that going.
Right now, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm actually going to use Corellia Green Shade and we're going to hit the small areas just to try and give it a bit of a shading on the uh, the Green Stuff World Paint. So for this, I'm going to fin it with the wet palette. I'm also going to use a, a Citadel base brush. I'm not using a giant brush on this. While we're waiting for that to dry, so from sepia, I'm going to apply that with a normal shade brush. Again, I'm going to hit it in the wet palette. These are homemade wet palettes. I have uh, done a video like that, so if you go into my painting tutorials, you'll be able to see how to make your own wet palette. Because I don't like spending money because I'm tight. I'm a Yorkshireman. Just a tip, I'm brushing with this, stroke upwards because the pigment, it will leave the majority at the top, which is where you want it to be darker. So I've let that dry a bit, we're going to go over the mandibles with a Tyrant Skull dry brush in a moment but in the meantime I've used Ishebti Bone and then just painted all of the maggot like creatures and now we're going to hit the maggot like creatures just with a wash of Reclam Flesh Shade, just using a small brush so we can get maximum control. Oh yeah on this one I'm going to use it pure because I'm wanting a very dark rich colour on the maggots. Okay guys, next up we're going to hit Evil Sun Scarlet into these little nodules. Yes, we're going for a red and green separation. Um, so we're going to hit that into the little areas. Probably hit it with a bit of Uriel Yellow. And then I'm thinking I might do an ink wash on the recess. But let's get this down first. stage then troll slayer orange gonna water this down to like a glaze consistency i'm just going to go over everything glaze like get a bit of my mucky water more like an ink yeah that should do yeah, that'll work. Well, 
while we're waiting for the orange glaze to dry just hit the eyes and the tongue a little bit with some more evil sun scarlet now while the red's drying some more euro yellow again a little bit thinner than normal your yellow's not very thick so if you put it onto your wet palette it should thin it down nice and then we're just going to be looking putting it into the top of these red parts Carabird Crimson for those of you paying attention at home I have no idea how many paints I've used and I'm gonna leave it there so if you guys want to create your own that looks very similar you can do no problem I'm all right with that uh, the base is going to be possibly done by the person that actually commissioned the piece because he wants all his bases to look the same. Um, so I'm not going to be doing any more on that. I'll probably finish off those little things. We only need a couple of bits of paint. Right, thank you very much for watching guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button if you want to see more. I'm going to try and get a donation system set up soon because uh, I'm not going to be doing the uh, subscription based service. It's not really worth it. Um, so if you are wanting to donate to support the channel, I'll be setting that up soon, possibly through rootstem.co.uk. Well, thank you very much, guys. We'll see you next time.